Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to the shop. It's finally time to start making the wings for this truck. Okay, now that may be a little bit misleading. What I mean by the wings is the section right here on the back and the front of the flatbed because you may have noticed this flatbed is about six inches short on the back and six inches short on the front. The main reason for that is it is much easier to get these deck boards in 12 foot rather than 13. So it's very easy to add a six inch front and a six inch back to get the 13 foot long bed that we need. Let's take a look at what I'm gonna try and do to make this happen. So the add-on front and rear sections of this bed are gonna be made out of aluminum. The reason I'm using aluminum is because, well, it matches everything else and it's nice and clean and easy to fabricate. It's lightweight and it's strong. But before I get to cutting up aluminum and bending it and bolting it in place, I've got to do a little bit of CAD work. Now, everybody can do CAD work because I'm talking about cardboard aided design. This is going to be my false aluminum. I'm going to cut the size and shape out of this, lay it out on the back of the truck make sure it works before I do a couple of test bends on the press and make it out of aluminum for the final fit. So the rear of the bed is actually gonna be made out of three pieces. There's gonna be one wing on each side and they'll be about 28 and a half inches wide. And then there'll be one section in the center that's about 25 and a half inches wide. That'll become a little bit more apparent as to why later on in the build. Now all three of these sections are gonna be about six inches deep and that's the space from the current bed to the back of the chassis. And then we're gonna be about nine and a half inches high to go from the height of the deck boards, to just covering the subframe. Now, because this box already has a number of nice straight bend lines in it, I'm gonna to try to use those to my advantage. The longest bend is gonna be across the top where it drops down the back. I'm gonna use this bend here, which means I need to be 28 and a half inches wide there. So I'm gonna cut this here. I'm going to keep this outer piece on because that will, for now, act as the outside edge. I'll go into that a little bit more later. And we want to come down nine and a half inches from that fold on the back to get the height, the full height of the deck. So I'm going to cut a line across there. I'm going to have a bend here. I know the top is six inches. So I'm going to go six inches from that fold. This is a little bit of a, a rough cut. I'm not going to use this as my exact template to cut my parts, but it's going to get the idea and the visual for what it's going to end up looking like. For those of you who are still trying to visualize what I'm doing here, this is the back of the bed. This is the last six inches that comes out to the end of the frame. And what I'm essentially doing is having a piece of aluminum come up here, across here, and down here but there's a bit of a problem with this. Here's a small piece of eighth inch aluminum that I had bent up for something completely different. What you can see is when I place this where it would be at the front, it lines up nicely with the back edge of the boards. The problem is when I go to set it at the right height so that this is flush, I end up with a big gap and I don't want a big gap there. So what I'm gonna end up doing is actually having a bend on the back. It's gonna butt up in the front to the straight edge, and then I'll weld on the back side here the front piece on. So the first piece that I'm making is actually just going to be the top and the back. Now, for those of you who have never done CAD work before, it can sound pretty intimidating, but um, this type of CAD work is really easy to do. You you just draw out your shape and give it a shake, and. Uh, there you go, except for the tape sometimes. There's your part. As I said, doing CAD work can be a little bit intimidating, but it's really not that hard. Now this is 2D CAD, and if you want to take it to the next step and do 3D CAD, you're going to need some tape. So for the final step of turning this 2D CAD model into a 3D part that we can visualize, I'm going to clamp it in place on the truck. And we're going to use a little bit of tape to hold the edges in place. 
and we should be able to get a good idea of how things are going to look when it's all finished. This little tab here, because I can't really get a clamp on it, I'm just using a big heavy magnet, holds that in place. A little bit of tape on the outside edge to hold the corner down, if I can get the tape to peel. And that is a reasonable representation of what the aluminum part should turn out like. Well, there you have it. Some simple, cheap, and easy 3D CAD work. Obviously, not the same as the other type of CAD, but if you're looking for an easy way to do a visual representation of what your finished product needs to look like, go for it. Try out some CAD work. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give us a thumbs up. Throw a comment down below if you got a question, I'll try and answer it. If you haven't already, maybe click on subscribe, and if you think this video could help someone, share it around. That's all I've got for this one, but next time I will be working on making the aluminum piece of this, which is a little bit more difficult, so stick around because there's lots more to come. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.